Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4 on this Tuesday. Brady is in for Mark. I'm in for Susan. Hello. Mark will be back tomorrow. He, mm -hmm. we, we allowed him two days for vacation. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Do you think he'll bring us some souvenirs? Probably not. Oh, well. No, but that's okay. It's always good to hope. And Mark, if you're watching... <laughs> Souvenirs. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, topping our headlines today, Governor Tony Everts has called a special session to address child care affordability and availability. Will Keneally breaks down why. President Biden designated the land around the Grand Canyon today as a national monument. Hear why he called it one of the seven wonders of the world. And we speak to the poet laureate of Madison about what the job has been like and who she thinks should take over after her. All right. And now outside this Ooh. is... Pirate Island okay. in Monona. That looks really nice. It is gorgeous. Grab a couple of lawn chairs, a nice like meat and cheese tray. Uh -huh. Have a good or, day. you know, put your paddle board in. Paddle, oh right? yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a good day for that. So the weather words, these are the dog days? Yeah, big question mark. Add three more question marks <laughs> to that one. We have Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti there he out is. on the weather surprise, patio. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah. All right, so tell us about these questionable dog days. Well, you know, this is the time of year where we normally see hot and humid weather, but that's not the case this year. The weather's pretty nice. Now, there were a couple of showers and thunderstorms that have developed right on the edge of our viewing area and just to our south. Those have been drifting into Lake Michigan and down into northern Illinois. You can see on Doppler tracks some scattered showers and thunderstorms across northern Illinois and far eastern Wisconsin. But across our viewing area, the rain has left the area, any rain that was out there, and it was mainly across Dodge County. And that is now gone. Uh, we're looking for dry weather and clearing skies. It's actually clearer here uh, right now. Low temperatures this morning, pretty comfortable. Comfortable, lower 60s, upper 50s. We're going to see very similar temperatures for the next 10 days. And current temperatures near the highs for the day so far, uh, generally in the lower to middle 80s across southern Wisconsin. A little cooler, closer to Lake Michigan. Here in Dane County right now, 84 degrees in Middleton, 85 Madison. But with low humidity, it really doesn't feel that bad. 84, the current temperature in Cross Plains. Look for skies to be mostly clear this evening. Temperatures dropping off into the upper 60s. Later on, I'll take a look at a forecast. It does include some chances for rain, but also includes plenty of sunshine as well. Well, the kids may be enjoying a nice summer break weather, but Governor Evers wants the legislature to get back to work. Well, this morning he signed an executive order forcing the legislature back into session. Political reporter Will Keneally was with him and has the latest details. This morning at a child care center here in Milwaukee, the governor took an unusual step to force the legislature back into session on the issue of child care. And as part of a broader workforce development package that includes funding for child care, paid family leave, and higher education. Fact remains that Republicans have offered no real comprehensive plan to address our state, state's workforce challenges to date. Truly addressing these long-standing long challenges must include efforts to ensure workers who are already working and are part of the workforce can remain in the workforce. Now, the governor can't make the legislature pass any bills. He can only make them debate the issue. And recent special sessions have ended with the state legislature not taking up any legislation. That session on paper, at least, is scheduled for September 20th. Reporting from Milwaukee, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. One of the men who Madison police said was wanted in connection with a fatal shooting on the city's east side last month was arrested today. Madison police say 32-year-old Devontae Gafford was taken into custody by U.S. Marshals in Milwaukee. The other suspect in the shooting, 21-year-old Mark A. Parks Jr., is still at large. Gafford and Parks face charges of first-degree intentional homicide in the shooting death of 20-year-old Devin Grant. The Madison Police Department's burglary crime unit is looking to identify a suspect in multiple thefts and fraud cases. Police say the suspect approaches people at bars or restaurants and uses his coat to cover the victim's purse or wallet before stealing them. The suspect is also believed to watch potential victims before, for quite a time before moving in to steal an item. He also uses those stolen credit cards. If you recognize this man or have any information on his accused crimes, Madison Police wants you to contact them. Well, this year, 19 people are dead in Rock County because of suspected overdoses, 12 in Beloit alone. So what's Beloit doing about it? It's starting by making Narcan more available. Kyle Pazorski shares how the community is hoping to put an end to those deaths with this machine. Kyle? A vending machine installed in the public library is the first of its kind available to the public in Rock County. It's free to use during the 62 hours a week that the library is open. Library Director Dick, 
Nick Demasis tells me the machine isn't there because of the deaths, but because the library is designed to serve the community beyond just housing books. As we look to really reflect the community, both in our collections and in our services, we also need to respond to community needs. And so this is a great step in that direction. The vending machine functions just like any other one, which you would get a soda or chips from. All you have to do is enter the number of the item you want, and it comes out, again, all free of charge. They say while the Narcan and fentanyl test strips are free, you should only take an item if it is actually needed. A similar vending machine was also installed at the Rock County Jail. This new machine was funded by a $50,000 grant from the state's opioid settlement funds. Thank you, Kyle. President Biden visited Arizona to designate areas just north and south of the Grand Canyon a national monument. The move comes as the president continues to ramp up his re-election efforts. Skylar Henry reports. <laughs> Nearly one million acres of land surrounding the Grand Canyon in northern Arizona are now federally protected. <laughs> President Biden officially designated the site the nation's newest national monument Tuesday. Preserving ancestral land many Native American tribes in the region consider sacred. America's natural wonders are central to our heritage and our identity as a nation. Native American history is American history, and that's what today is about. The move also bans future uranium mining in the area a long-sought goal of tribal communities and environmental groups. This designation will safeguard one of our most important water supplies, continue to support a strong economic activity in communities across our state, and preserve a cultural and natural treasure for future generations. President Biden's stop in Arizona is part of a three-state western trip where he's expected to tout his economic policies, as well as efforts to combat climate change. Preserving these lands is good not only for Arizona, but for the planet. It's good for the economy. It's good for the soul of the nation. Native American voters could be key to helping President Biden win the key state once again as he runs for re-election in 2024. Skyler Henry, CBS News. This is the fifth national monument that President Biden has established while in office. The president is also traveling to New Mexico and Utah this week. Well, former President Donald Trump is back on the campaign trail while his attorneys are fighting a government request to limit what he can say publicly about the January 6th case. A Trump supporter at his event today told CBS News the legal challenges are fueling their support and donations, money that Trump acknowledges will be needed for his court battles. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is part of a crowded Republican field challenging Trump for the GOP nomination. He spent $40 million just the last quarter on legal fees, and that was before two more indictments came out. Um, look, he can't sustain it, and, and he's ripping people off. According to the latest numbers available, Trump's Save America PAC had less than $4 million cash on hand at the end of June. Trump's closest competitor in the polls, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, has fired his campaign manager and replaced him with his longtime chief of staff. Nominations for a new Poet Laureate for the City of Madison are now open. We caught up with the current Poet Laureate to talk about what the past three years have been like on the job. Angela Trudell Vasquez has had the position since 2020. Now, during their service, Poet Laureates or Poets Laureate generously share their love of poetry with our city, and create occasional poems for specific civic events, and they participate in and sustain the poetry programs for the city of Madison. Angela has some advice for her successor. You tell the best story. Don't let other people tell your stories is what I've said for years. You write your own story. So if you believe in your work, if you've been doing the work, if you want to bring other people into the poetry world, make it accessible to them and show them how it can, you know, enrich their lives, this is the role for you. Madison is one of the first cities with a Poet Laureate. The call for nominations for a new Poet Laureate is now open and will close September 27th. The new Poet Laureate will begin their term on January 15th, 2024.
Ten years ago this summer, News 3 Now featured a young Verona girl battling a genetic disorder known as neurofibromatosis, or NF1. Lauren Geyer was the inspiration behind an effort to raise research funds and awareness about the disease. Lauren was just three at the time and was outwardly healthy, but at risk of developing tumors along various types of nerves. She also has a rare form of the disorder called NF1 microdeletion syndrome, caused by a deletion of genetic material on her 17th chromosome. It can lead to developmental delays and the potential for more tumors and increased cancer risk. She's extremely happy at baseline, right? She's just genuinely like a like a good person. And she's so empathetic. Like she just wants to make sure everybody's happy and everybody's feeling good. She made a really heartbreaking comment not long ago where she said, Mom, I don't want to get any more of these. I'm gonna be so ugly and I'm never gonna leave the house. And I mean, to hear that as a parent, it's just like, oh, so that's, again, one of the, one of the reasons why, um, why we just fight so hard for this. Now a decade later, Lynx for Lauren celebrates its 10th year on Saturday. Lauren's now approaching 14 and she is doing well, but not without some challenges ahead. And that's where you can help. Lynx for Lauren raises money that goes directly to researchers at UW-Madison as they continue their push to advance cutting edge NF research worldwide. And we could tell people that, hey, this stays local. This money is something that, you know, we can, I can introduce you to the guy that's gonna put this money to use. Um, and introduce those researchers to local families. And so it's, it's been awesome to watch the way that the researchers have kind of like embraced the NF community, especially locally. She's a pretty amazing young lady. Um, and we've learned a lot from her and this is kind of one of our ways to, to give back to just, you know, not only, like I said, or like Ryan said, therapeutic for us, but just to kind of give back to that community that's in need. And there is still time to sign up if you want to help support a great cause this weekend. Golf has an 11 a.m. check-in at the Oaks with a shotgun start at noon. You can also just join us for dinner. News 3 Now's Eric Franke will serve as MC. And this year, the event is adding live music from 90s cover band The Foo Foo Dolls <laughs> at 7 o'clock. Again, it's at the Oaks in Cottage Grove. Just go to linksforlauren.com for more information. Well, our morning show team is continuing our back to school coverage with four weeks to go until kids head back. Oh wow, four weeks. <laughs> well, here's Leah Linscheid with some advice on how to prepare your kids. If you're trying to prepare your family for that back to school grind, the best thing for students to do right now is read. That's according to a survey sent to K through 12 teachers. It asked them what's the single most important activity a kid can do before school starts. Research dating back to the 1970s shows reading is the only activity consistently related to summer learning. We asked a couple of local teachers for their thoughts. Read, read, Absolutely. read, that's always our number one thing. Yeah. We don't give a lot of homework, but we're always like, you need to read, read, read. And even at the end of the school year, like we have the Middleton Public Library come in and they talk about the summer reading program and they really try to like engrave it in how yeah. important it is to read and just find something, you know, important. The single biggest thing here is getting kids to enjoy reading, have them read for fun. The survey has a couple of suggestions to get them into it. One, frame reading in a positive light. It doesn't help to tell kids they can't play video games or go outside and play until they finish their reading. You want them to have a positive experience. Two, it might help if your kids see you reading for pleasure. Then allowing them to choose the book and the format can help too. Lastly, think twice before using a reward system. It might get kids into reading in the short term, but it doesn't necessarily help create a lifelong reader. And just a reminder, we are just getting started with our two-week push to gather school supplies and make sure every kid in Dane County is set up for success this school year. You can drop off supplies at our studio here at News 3 Now or any Metcalfs or Walgreens locations. You can find other details at channel3000.com slash back to school. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, we continue our back to school theme with distinguished psychologist Shyla Mergain. She joins us next to help us make sure it's a smooth transition back into that school year. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on August 18th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. At Revamp, we transform your old beat-up concrete floor from this to this in one day. 
we grind down the concrete to open up the pores for a perfect bond. Then we repair all cracks and apply our base coat and chip and seal it with our polyaspartic top coat that will never chip, peel, or discolor. On top of all that, our coatings are ridiculously easy to clean and covered by our exclusive lifetime warranty. And right now, when you purchase your new concrete coating from any of our revamped brands, you'll get 12 months, no interest, no payments, or 40% off the installation. And when you call during this program, you'll also get up to 10 carbon fiber concrete stitches free which help reinforce cracks and stop them from spreading. A $350 value for free. South Central Wisconsin homeowners, pick up the phone. Call 1-800-886-8411. That's 1-800-886-8411. Mark, a little help here? Oh, keep it down. The noise is making them angry. Whoa. Hey, I'm not a beekeeper, but I can replace these windows fast. Let Feldco be the experts in your home renewal. Right now, buy one window and you'll get one free. Plus, no interest for one year. And we'll get it done Feldco fast. Buy one window, get one free, and soon. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. These are the faces that smile so wide at the friends and staff who were by their side, where life is lived with a feeling of pride on every bump of life's great ride that comes from the care that sweetens the air that lives in the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community, independent homes and four levels of assisted living built with the help of angels. You got me. Tag, you're it. Imagine a world with no drama. With 4imprint, you don't have to chase down the perfect promotional products. Exclusive apparel, bags, drinkware, and more. 4imprint will help you capture the moment and guarantee to deliver your order on time and on budget. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on August 18th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Americans' credit card debt has hit a record high. Well, according to data from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, Americans' credit card debt surpassed a trillion dollars in the second quarter for the first time ever. The New York Federal Reserve data shows credit card balances have risen for five consecutive quarters and increased by some of the steepest rates in two decades. The chief credit analyst at LendingTree says what's driving credit card debt is inflation, higher interest rates, and overall cost of living. Well, stocks took a major hit today after Moody's downgraded the credit ratings of 10 U.S. regional banks and put six other institutions under review. The Dow was down 158 points, the Nasdaq fell 110, and the S&P 500 was off 19. Whether your child is just beginning kindergarten or starting a new grade as a returning student, oh, there's a lot to be done to prepare for this year ahead and set your child up for success. Us. Dr. Shiloh Morgan is back to share tips to help your family make a smooth transition into the school year. And she's here with her beautiful daughter, Elevin, who is starting preschool daycare for the yes, first time. Yes, for the very September. first time right after Labor Day. So I relate to all those families and the anxiety of sending your children Welcome back to, to the school. world. <laughs> Thinking about how do you set Good your luck. child up for success. Yeah, okay, so what's the plan for you? Oh my gosh. Well, the first adorable. is to establish a routine. You know, we're starting to transition to earlier bedtimes and wake times mm -hmm. and kids thrive on warmth and structure so also really um, thinking about what are you going to do in the evening when is meal time when do you read to your child mm -hmm. when is bath time bedtime and get that established yeah. early can that help with some of the anxiety that goes into starting something so new? <laughs> it can. It's really common for kids to feel anxious, and there are ways mm -hmm. you can really help lower those jitters. First, validate their feelings. Mm -hmm. Most kids are feeling a little nervous. Then think about really talking them through what could occur, like help them brainstorm certain scenarios and how they might address them, whether it's school bullying or who to ask for help or just safety in general. And also teach them a simple practice called the Take Five practice that can 
can help them lower anxiety. Oh, what is this? So Take five yeah, business. so thinking about taking five breaths, and you can um, just as you breathe in, go up one finger, and you breathe out, go okay. down one finger. As you breathe up, go up the second finger, go down that second finger. As you breathe out, and so on. And if kids feel a little uncomfortable, they can also just press their fingers together, each finger, as you breathe in and breathe out, and then the next finger, breathe in and breathe oh. out. And you can so keep going five. if you need more than five yeah. breaths. Right? And that helps them. <laughs> yeah, just kind of calm that stress and get back in their body. Yeah. But what about for parents, mm. how to calm the anxiety with parents. We need to, you know, reverse roles here too. So Exactly. You think about anxiety and excitement actually show up the same in the body. So if you can be really excited for your kids as they're going to school, think about uh, taking that picture, talking up school, brainstorming what they're looking forward to, to really help it be a good year. And then think about just connecting with your child when they come home. One of my favorite practices is at bedtime asking kids four simple questions when they're going to bed. Number one, what was the best thing about your day? So you can think mm -hmm. about gratitude. Number two, um, what was a challenging thing about your day? So they can vent, release it, and start okay. the next day fresh. Number three, what questions do you have about your day for me? So you're really showing that you're a safe and trusted person that can talk about anything. And lastly, how do you express love uh, how did you show love mm -hmm. or, or compassion or kindness during your, your day to instill that family value? I think Elevin's having yeah. a great day. No problem. No stress so. at all. Yeah, Unbothered. Exactly. Just made for TV. Right? Oh, yeah. oh, are we boring you? Uh, <laughs> she kidding. might be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh. she loves being a guest. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. all the kids and Please families, stay. they have school year. Yes. Yeah. 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 Pretty you dress, too. Tell them yeah. yeah, she'll take over the next new segment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you good so you very both. much, and good luck sending Thank her off you. to school. I'll report back in a few okay. months how Please it's going. Do. Yep. Oh. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, art is something that has come from the heart oh. and occasionally oh. from Kate. Mm -hmm. And we'll meet a talented artist, among other things, when we come back. Champion Windows is celebrating our 70th anniversary with our best sale of the year. Right now, buy two Comfort 365 windows and get two free. Don't sweat over high energy bills. Buy two, get two free. Call or schedule your free estimate online at GetChampionWindows.com. Here's your parachute. Certain it's okay? Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters, so congratulate coworkers or say thank you with promotional products from 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Oh, the kids? At your parents. I ate an hour ago because you completely forgot about the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup, any size, any model. Or check out the Summit Easy on the Wallet for only $299.99. Purchase any Tempur-Pedic and get a $300 gift. And score two Doctor's Choice pillows for only $69.99, plus five years no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. I was stuck. Unresolved depression symptoms were in my way. I needed more for my antidepressant. Vralar helped give it a lift. Adding Vralar to an antidepressant is clinically proven to help relieve overall depression symptoms better than an antidepressant alone. And in Vralar clinical studies, most saw no substantial impact on weight. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke, report unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, as these may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, weight gain, and high cholesterol may occur. Movement dysfunction and restlessness are common side effects. Stomach and sleep issues, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are also common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. I didn't have to change my treatment. I just gave it a lift. Ask about Vralar and learn how AbbVie can help you save. Okay guys, we're all here because US Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now you can get four lines with unlimited data for just $90 total. Sorry, just double checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah, it's a huge deal. On top of that, you also get four free phones. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple checked and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check the expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Four lines for $90 a month, plus four free phones. U.S. Cellular, built for us. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. 
See how available features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist make backing up as easy as turning a knob. Watch as Pro Power on board lights up the night. And Ford Blue Cruise makes driving even more fun. Now get a Ford F-150 XLT or Ford Lightning with 3.9% APR financing for 60 months plus 1,000 retail trade assist cash and 500 low APR cash. Oh, take a look at this. Water buffalo have been spotted rushing to cool off in a pond in the southeastern part of Turkey where temperatures soared past 104 degrees last week. I'd want to cool off too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the makeshift ponds were built by local authorities for cattle and livestock living in drought-stricken areas to counter the effects of climate change. More than 140 ponds were created during the course of a year in the region where temperatures more than 104 degrees are common in August. Rainfall in southeastern Turkey has decreased by 66 percent compared to the average in the region and by 19 percent compared to last year. It's like they're saying, everyone into the pool, well, quickly. Yeah, how, who's, who's in charge of hurting the water yeah. buffalo? <laughs> I have no idea, but they had the right idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. That's 40 degrees Celsius, so yeah, that is, that is pretty steamy. And We're just really lucking out. Yeah, you know, so far, you know, there's a lot of severe weather to our south. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's where the humidity has been higher, but our weather has been pretty comfortable. We could use the rain, don't don't get mm -hmm. me wrong, but uh, really can't, can't fault the weather right yeah. now. Um, I'll take a look at our prospects for rain and how long this nice weather will last in just a few minutes. What did you get? A 94. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance? Uh-huh. <laughs> you can't shush the truth, people. You can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. Fry Construction invites you to celebrate summer with our hot summer sale. We're talking about hot savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our hot summer sale. Save 23% off gutters or insulation with any full siding project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. Experience, knowledge, and results. That's what really matters when you need help after a serious truck accident. You'll need a lawyer experienced in fighting and winning for people just like you. Gruber Law Offices has the resources, strong track record of success, and a team of experienced lawyers to take care of your needs. We've successfully helped people injured in big truck accidents for more than 35 years. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. What did you get? A 94. That's good. AAA Auto Insurance scored a 94 on member satisfaction. What? AAA Auto Insurance? Uh-huh. <laughs> you can't shush the truth, people. You can't shush the truth. AAA Auto Insurance. Expect something more. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, you know, while our weather has been relatively quiet, there's been a lot of severe weather the last couple of days across the country. These are all the severe weather reports over the last 48 hours. You can see the high wind reports. Over a half a million people without power through parts of the mid-Atlantic states, uh, down into the southeast. 
Severe weather started uh, Sunday night across Illinois. And then even out west, there have been some severe thunderstorms producing hail, high winds, even a couple of tornadoes in eastern Colorado, even back in parts of uh, Idaho and Montana, some wind and hail reports. Here in Wisconsin, there actually have been a couple of wind reports actually just this afternoon, one near Oshkosh and then one uh, near Waukegan, Illinois, 48 mile an hour wind gust with a narrow line of thunderstorms that kind of developed from the Fox Valley right along the uh, Lake Breeze front west of uh, Lake Michigan and then down into parts of northern Illinois. You can see that uh, line of showers and thunderstorms that kind of developed right over Oshkosh there. That's the one that brought the gusty winds, but now those showers and storms drifting to the south. The drier air is moving in. Skies have actually cleared out very nicely across southern Wisconsin. The last of the rain uh, pushing through Racine and Kenosha counties. A couple of thunderstorms uh, just south of Sheboygan. The rest of southern Wisconsin is precipitation free. Three things you need to know in the forecast. It'll be warm with high temperatures between about 80 and 84 for the next 10 days and low temperatures between 60 and 64. And the average high temperature is about 82 and the average low temperature is about 62. You can't get much no more normal than that, especially over a long period of time. There'll be a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Better chances for showers and storms Friday and then again Sunday night. But in between, it'll be dry. So there'll be plenty of dry hours, lots of sunshine, and temperatures that, like I say, they'll be very comfortable for this time of year. Also, be a little more humid on Friday as well. Otherwise, we look at weather track across the Midwest. You can see those little showers and thunderstorms that developed along the Lake Breeze front and across uh, uh, parts of northern Illinois. Those are moving away from us. Upper level winds now becoming a little more northwester. There's, there's a cold front up near the U.S. Canadian border in the northern portions of Minnesota, touching off some scattered showers and thunderstorms. But for the most part, things are pretty quiet across our part of the country. High pressure is located down to the south. There's that front up to the north, which actually becomes stationary, so it doesn't even allow the cooler air to drop southward. So at this point, those uh, showers and thunderstorms should stay up to our north. They'll drop a little farther south tomorrow, and that's when we'll see a, a chance for a shower or thunderstorm late in the day into tomorrow night. Current temperatures, low to mid 80s across the state. Madison right now at 85 degrees, a little more cloud cover in Dubuque, Iowa. They're at 78 degrees. And of course, those showers and uh, isolated thunderstorms keeping temperatures in the 70s across parts of northern Illinois. Plan to unite across Dane County, 60 for the low in Mount Vernon, 61 in DeForest with mostly clear skies. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, 57 in Lone Rock and 61 in Baraboo. Tomorrow, partly sunny and warm. But there's a slight chance for a late afternoon shower or thunderstorm in the high of 84. You'll see just how small those chances are on future track. Here they come about 4 o'clock tomorrow by about 8 o'clock, maybe through the Madison area. And then by midnight, they're pretty much gone. And the coverage, very spotty. Most areas not seeing any rain. Where it does rain, the rainfall amounts will be light unless you get caught under a heavier shower or thunderstorm, maybe up to a half inch of rain. First one, 7 to 10 day forecast. Again, those temperatures pretty uniform. Rain chances highest tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, Friday, uh, Sunday night, and then Tuesday, uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday of next week. Otherwise, lots of sunshine in there, and like I say, those comfortable temperatures, not too much humidity as well. We start out the show by saying the dog days of summer. Mm -hmm. Well, this doesn't seem like them anyway. No, not at all, but we will take this. Right. We love it. Thank Thanks, you. Karen. Sure. Well, ask any soldier, and they will tell you there's nothing artistic about war, but what comes out of it can be a masterpiece. As Dale Ryman explains, art helped Eric Stevens find peace when he needed it the most. This is really cool. And did you look at anything when you Yep, I had an inspiration on that one. I actually took it from another photo. I based my drawings off of looking at something. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. You can tell by his artwork that you're going to see. He's a, a talented individual. Rock on. Yep. I just get some random ideas. Drawing is an escape yes. for Eric Stevens. Yep, uh, drawing definitely takes my mind off of stuff. He's been a volunteer firefighter EMT for the Riverside Fire District for almost eight years. It's more of a pride of helping the community. I like being there when someone needs you the most. Doesn't always have to get paid for every second that he's here, and that's what serving the community really is about. He knows a thing or two about serving. I've been called a kind of an adrenaline junkie with some of the career paths that I've taken. Eric served in the Army from 2008 to 2013 as a military policeman. It forced the Wausau West grad to shape up when he shipped out. Doing the military was really gave me the discipline and self-motivation to get myself in the direction that I needed to go. That direction led him to Afghanistan, um, where in 2010... I usually don't talk about this, I'm sorry. His life changed um, forever. It was on May 19th, and uh, we were walking, actually just walking, and our base got attacked 
and it was at 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, me and my buddy heard it and then kind of went into our, it was all muscle memory after that point. 15 hours later, the fight was over. It definitely was a lot more on edge when after that, I was a lot more hypervigilant, which wasn't exactly a bad thing when you're in a combat zone. Prior to that May Day in Afghanistan, Eric had just scratched his artistic surface. After, it helped him find peace. Drawing was a way to escape my head for a bit. In 2013, Eric's military career ended. So this is the gear room. But his time serving had only just begun. He eventually found his way to the Schofield Fire Department and Chief Rob Bowen. Everybody has their serving sense. Firefighting, uh, the organizational structure, the command staff is basically modeled after military um, organizations. So a lot of the structure is the same. Correlation is the teamwork, working very closely, uh, kind of like a family. But in 2017, Schofield and Rothschild joined forces to form the Riverside Fire District. They needed an identity for this new alliance. We need a new logo that represents both communities. I probably tore about six or seven pages out of my book until I kind of <laughs> decided, OK, this is the one. Eric's was the one. Rib Mountain and the Wisconsin River are the backdrop of a helmet, bugle, ax, and a hook. A fire hydrant on one side and the EMS emblem on the other round out Riverside's logo. I'm 29, coming home from my grandparents' house in uh, Two Rivers. Crossing over the river and seeing the hill was always the sign like, okay, we're home. Then earlier this summer, Eric also designed the contest winning logo for the Cronenwetter Fire Department. I can't even explain how amazing it is. It's just a big mind blow. <laughs> a passion for art. I've been told that I have a good talent for it. <laughs> born out of war. I'd say he does. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, very nice. Well, Eric says he always reminds his fellow firefighters or military veterans if they ever need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. He will tell you it's never fun going down that road by yourself when dealing with mental health issues. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, Consumer Reports tells us the best buys for the month of August. And then at 5, our investigative team went through records obtained from the Madison School District detailing a second investigation into then communications director Tim LeMans. Naomi Coles shows us more. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Hi, it's Preston from Window World. Over the past 15 years, Window World has donated more than $15 million to St. Jude Children's Hospital. We've also supported the Veterans Airlift Command with 120 flights, transporting more than 150 combat wounded veterans. We have a strong belief in giving back and want to thank everyone who has chosen Window World for your home's renovation. When you go with Window World, you're doing a lot more than remodeling. designer kids package or free lens upgrade wisconsin vision see more life here's your parachute packed it myself certain it's okay mm -hmm. are you foreign print certain Certainty matters, like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Packed it myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Congratulations to Madison Magazine for earning nine awards in the Milwaukee Press Club Excellence in Wisconsin Journalism Competition, including top honors for best single story or feature design and best feature photograph. Dive into local lakes with Madison Magazine. Learn what lies in the murky deep, from antique cars and ancient relics to tales of sunken treasure. And meet divers bringing secrets to the surface. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now.
Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. New at 5, Governor Evers takes action to tackle workforce challenges in Wisconsin. Will Keneally looks at the new areas of focus. These are supposed to be the dog days of summer, but our weather should be pretty nice for the next week and a half. There'll be some chances for rain, but there'll also be plenty of sunshine as well. At 5, I'll let you know when to expect any rain. And ahead of 6, allegations of bullying and harassment come to light at the Madison School District. A second investigation releases explosive revelations about former employee Tim Lamont. News 3 Now investigates tonight at 6. What a view that is. Liberty Island, New York. A Raise nice, it up. Baby. Raise it up. <laughs> nice, comfortable 78 degrees there. Oh, so not bad in Big Apple. She doesn't need a fan mm -mm, today. She does not. <laughs> Although summer may be winding down, your chances to save money this month will only be rising. And that's a good thing. Consumer Reports shares how to save big in August on the products you will need to wrap up summer and get into that back-to-school groove. Shane Hogan shows us more. August is all about those back to school and Labor Day sales. Consumer Reports tracks the prices of many of its top tested products all year long so it knows exactly when they go on deep discount. Here are the top products to look out for in this month's best time to buy. This month you can expect back to school sales on tech items like computers, tablets and printers. The end of August also signals early Labor Day sales where you can find deals geared towards seasonal items like grills as well as vacuums. Set your student up for success this year with the new laptop. The Apple MacBook Air 13 inch is as low as $749.99 at Amazon and Best Buy. CR says this is the lowest price they've seen on this MacBook and that its battery lasted 12 and a half hours in its web browsing tests. Skip the ink refills and go with a laser printer for all your studying needs. This HP laser jet printer is now $89 at Amazon and Walmart. While this model only prints in black and white, it offers outstanding overall performance, great functionality, and low print cost. And for your college students, cook cup noodles to your heart's content with an affordable microwave. This microwave oven from Commercial Chef is $76.49 at JCPenney. And whether it's for Labor Day, camping, or tailgating, get a grill you can take with you on the go. This portable grill from Coleman is as low as $249.99 at Walmart. And finally, a stick vac that won't break the bank. The Hoover One Power Blade Max is as low as $184.98. CR says this cordless stick vacuum performs well in its pet hair, bare floor, and edge cleaning tests. Round out your summer with great savings. This is Shane Hogan. Look at all those things. I know, there's a lot of stuff. I know, we're, I think we were making our list. Oh, that's a good vacuum, yeah. a microwave. Well, are you looking for something else? Well, Consumer Reports also points out dehumidifiers, freezers, robotic vacuums, those are good. Uh -huh. Wireless routers are all on sale this month. My parents got a robotic vacuum and they would call and say, we can't believe what this is doing. <laughs> she just goes on her own and cleans. Give her a tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, coming up next on Live at 4, the CDC is recommending a new preventative RSV shot for infants. Dr. Jeff Pothoff will join us to break down which infants should get this next. Is summer fun on your agenda? If not, it should be, because we are at Wisconsin RV World today with Miss Christine Egan, the lady who knows everything about these beautiful units behind us. 78 years in business, four generation family run business. I know you love this opportunity to help people have fun in the summer. So what are some options of these, these great things? You can get anything from a single axle to a bunkhouse to a couple's unit to toy hauler travel trailers and fifth wheel. The sky's the limit. I, I love it so much. You have all of the models on the floor right here. What about solar? People are always wondering about, are, are these units solar ready? You can get it with either solar ready or solar on board. Okay. Um, solar on board means that you actually have the solar panels on the roof and ready to go. Will you, can I get in one of these? Because yeah. I, I love them so much. Someday I'm gonna have one. Will you show me one? Yeah, we'll get outside and look. 
Christine, every time I'm here, I'm amazed at your selection. This is one you might really like. Let's go see it. family and make it a fun summer here at Wisconsin RV World. I'm Emmy Fink and, and you're your buzz into, into Madison. Madison. And we just need a deck of cards and a cold beverage. Get over here. Menards is your complete bathroom headquarters. We have what you need to give your bathroom a fresh new look from top brands like Lions. This contour tub and shower kit is $589.99 after 11% rebate. Complete the look of any room with stylish window treatments from Menards. Window images forward blinds add a classic design. Plus, they can be trimmed to width for free. Right now, only $22.99 after rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new Beautyrest mattress from Steinhoffels. Right now, Beautyrest Queen mattresses start at just $2.99. Or upgrade to the luxury and comfort of a Beautyrest Black. Queen Beautyrest Black mattresses start at just $49 per month when you use Steinhoffels special 72-month financing. Plus, you get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Steinhoffels is your sleep solution destination. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. In our first one of traffic, things looking pretty good around Dane County. There is a an accident northbound on Stoughton Road right at the Beltline there that's uh, slowing down traffic a bit. Uh, Beltline, of course, slowing down as the flex lanes come to an end at I-3990. But I-3990 southward toward Illinois, no problems there. I-94 eastward toward Milwaukee, no issues there. North of Madison, not seeing any issues on I-3990 and 94 into central Wisconsin around the Dells and up toward uh, Westfield and US-151 over toward Beaver Dam in Dodge County. That's your News 3 now for sworn traffic. Well, hundreds gathered to say goodbye to Sinead O'Connor. Lining the streets, crowds were singing her hit rendition of Prince's Nothing Compares to You, cheering, clapping, and throwing flowers as her funeral uh, procession drove past her old house in Bray County Wicklow in Ireland. Fans spoke highly of Sinead with people traveling from all over Ireland to pay their respects. Sinead O'Connor as I've now realized was a prophet in my mind and up there with the best of them and she was the most courageous artist of our generation. I'm here to stand for Sinead and for her message and to hopefully to continue to stand for all those other people out there that need to hear that message you know, what she stood for. She was years ahead of her time, you know, standing up to Gay Byrne on the late late, like all, all the, you know, various things that she did over time. She was just, it was okay to not be okay, you know, it was okay to be yourself and stand for what you believed in. While O'Connor had a public funeral procession, her burial was held privately. Singers Bob Geldof and U2's Bono attended the private burial service. The Irish Prime Minister, the Irish President, and his wife were also present. Inside of a sunlit studio in India's capital, a group of yoga practitioners gathered for an hour of yoga with an adorable twist. As participants hold their poses, kittens and cats wander around the room, some resting on yoga mats or <laughs> saying hi to the camera right there, and others even try to play with the practitioners, prompting some laughter from the group. The hour-long yoga sessions involving these furry companions are aimed at helping people unwind from the daily stresses of their lives. Some attendees even take midday breaks from their office jobs to attend the classes, organized under an initiative, the Paw Hour, which helps promote pet adoption. Oh, or, oh hello. <laughs> Just reach out and touch somebody. Well, organizers say they've been swamped with requests to adopt the animals after every class. Or maybe the cat chooses you. Yeah, I think that cat chose. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the CDC is recommending a new preventative RSV shot for all infants. Well, here to tell us about it and much more is Dr. Jeff Potoff, Chief Quality Officer at UW Health. Welcome. Hi. Yeah. Good Hi. to be here. 
Well, we don't have a cat for you, but I, you I have know. answers I mean, for us. A little yeah. disappointed, but let's let's <laughs> yeah. keep going. We will get a cat for you <laughs> at some point. So. What about this mm -hmm. shot? Yeah, so this uh, this is actually pretty pretty good news. So uh, for years, we've never been able to have an effective treatment that reduced severity of illness of RSV in very young infants, so like under eight months. Uh, this year we will. Um, so this medication, nasirvimab, uh, is an antibody. Uh, it lasts a long time. So infants under the age of eight months would get this injection. Uh, basically, artificially creates immunity against RSV, and the numbers are really good. So 70% reduction in hospitalization, 90% reduction in the need to go to the ICU. Um, that's that's good news from having really nothing to protect these little infants to having something that works this well. Uh, it's pretty exciting. It's approved by AICP. Uh, the good news there is, is most insurance, all insurance companies will be required to cover this uh, so it's not like families will have to find a couple hundred bucks to get this uh, so if you're due if you're expecting mm -hmm. or if you have a young infant talk to your obstetrician uh, pediatrician and say hey is this something we should have on the radar for this fall when RSV heats up so this is not going to be a required shot at this point this is an option yep it's recommended okay. but not required mm -hmm. okay now I have to ask you about postpartum depression yeah um, there's a pill for this now there is an, another first if we're talking about first today. So we've had for a couple years, I think since 2019, an injection, uh, an infusion for postpartum depression. Uh, but it took like two and a half days in the hospital to get it. Not very practical. Women often couldn't get that. And it was a lot that. of money. A lot of money and you got really sedated. Um, that's kind of over. Now we have a pill, uh, Zoranolone, uh, which you take once a day uh, for 14 days. Uh, and it's been shown to significantly reduce postpartum depression symptoms, at least for the first 45 days. Hasn't been studied too much longer than that. Uh, which is a big deal uh, because major depression uh, at the time that you've just had a baby and all this stuff is going on mm -hmm. doesn't work that well. Um, really disruptive for the women who get it, really hard for their family and their babies. Uh, so having a pill that you can take at home that reduces this uh, is really a game changer. Yeah. So uh, if you're expecting if you had postpartum depression before, certainly mm -hmm. talk to your obstetrician. Uh, if you're just worried that you might suffer from it, uh, have this plan in place uh, so that you, know, you can benefit from this. But this medication will be available soon. Well, and then on the COVID line, very quick, um, where are we at with the updated COVID boosters? Yeah, so good news. This is kind of going to plan. Uh, both Pfizer and Moderna are likely to have uh, updated COVID boosters in the next month and a half, right in time for kind of fall respiratory season. Uh, and uh, it's uh, targeted against uh, one of the current uh, Omicron subvariants. So uh, if you haven't been uh, boosted in the last year or mm -hmm. so, that last since last fall, this will be something to go out and get so that you don't have severe COVID uh, come this fall when we expect cases to continue to increase. All right. Thanks for keeping everybody healthy. This was yes. all good news. Yeah, it's, it's all good news today. <sighs> we like that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. You Thank bet. you very much. Take care. We're right back with a look at the forecast after this. At USA Insulation, we fix hot homes. Over 7 out of 10 homes are poorly insulated. Is yours? Here are some of the signs. Is your house too cold in the winter? Is it too hot in the summer? Does your furnace and AC run almost nonstop? Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Are your energy bills too high? You don't need a new home. You need better insulation. And right now, when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. USA Insulation. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. In a class three casino, you're playing against the house, so there's no guarantee a player has to win ever. And in a class two casino, the players play against each other and not the house. So someone always wins. So you're saying... He's saying if you want to win at something, you have to go to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, a class two casino where someone has to win. How about this then? Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Lloyd gets a new service to help with overdoses. News 3 now examines why there is such a concentrated effort in Rock County. And Governor Evers takes action to tackle workforce challenges in Wisconsin. We take a look at the new areas of focus. That's new at 5. 
From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. My view from the WIC TV Sky Cam shows sunny skies across south central Wisconsin. The showers and thunderstorms are nearing Lake Michigan and moving out into it or down into northern Illinois, so we will stay dry this evening. Temperatures right now warm, but comfortably warm with low humidity. 85 in Madison, 84 in Lone Rock, and 84 in Janesville. Tomorrow on Live at 4, whether you want to ride your bike, walk, or run, we've got an event for you to help people while you move. The 10th annual Roll and Stroll for Pancreatic Cancer is happening this weekend. We'll show you how you can get involved. Hi, it's Preston from Window World. Over the past 15 years, Window World has donated more than $15 million to St. Jude Children's Hospital. We've also supported the Veterans Airlift Command with 120 flights, transporting more than 150 combat wounded veterans. We have a strong belief in giving back and want to thank everyone who has chosen Window World for your home's renovation. When you go with Window World, you're doing a lot more than remodeling. You got me. Hey, you're it. Imagine a world with no drama. With 4imprint, you don't have to chase down the perfect promotional products. Exclusive apparel, bags, drinkware, and more. 4imprint will help you capture the moment and guarantee to deliver your order on time and on budget. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. You should Angie that. Angie what? Angie that. It means connecting with skilled professionals for all your home projects. From repairs to renovations, so you can get the most out of your home. Get started today at Angie.com. At Lawton Cates, your life counts is more than just a slogan. It's connecting you with top medical specialists after a serious injury. It's holding the insurance company responsible for your lost wages and your hospital bills. It's a guarantee that we'll be with you every step of the way and won't accept anything less than the maximum payment you deserve. We'll speak with you for free, and there's no fee until we get results for you. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Call us today. We're the Packers Scratch Game crew, bringing back Packers Scratch Games for you. The pack is back, and Scratch Games are here. With four season tickets, you could win for a year. There's instant cash prizes and other bonus drawing surprises. Packers Scratch Games are back with instant cash prizes up to $30,000 and a bonus drawing for four season tickets for one year. Prices range from $1 to $10. Available now at all Wisconsin lottery retailers. We're not kidding. Somebody will be winning. It's easy to get lost in investment research. Introducing J.P. Morgan Personal Advisors. Hey, David. Connect with an advisor to create your personalized plan. Let's find the right investments for your goals. Okay, great. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. You've heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, a Louisville woman just turned 104 after eating a clove of garlic a day. So maybe we need to make some changes, huh? <laughs> well, Helen Tinsley had the privilege of celebrating her 104th birthday on Sunday. Happy birthday, Helen. The Kentucky native was born in 1919 to a Todd County farmer and his homemaker wife. She was one of eight children. Helen and her husband spent most of their lives in Louisville until she moved to a healthcare facility in Clarksville, Indiana. Now, her family says <laughs> she's still a spitfire. She can be a character if you make her mad, but other than that, she's sweet, lovable, and, and she'll keep you in line. <laughs> we all need it. Well, she credits her longevity to a clean lifestyle, never smoking, and only the occasional drink, and of course, the clove of garlic each day. It's not a bad idea. You know, <laughs> she's thriving, so. Yes, she is, so we want to thrive as well. Apples and garlic and <laughs> the occasional drink. That's going to do it for us. Thank you for joining us. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.